Hey everyone, uh, I'm Darren, creative director on Skate, and this is episode four of The Boardroom. The setup looks a little bit different today because we are deep in the bowels of EA Capture Lab here at EA Vancouver, uh, where all the motion capture magic happens. Today we've got a little bit of a deeper dive into the foundation of our game, our skateboarding and our onboard mechanics, and we've got a couple key members of our gameplay crew here to shed some light on how we work and the process of bringing it all to life. Uh, can you guys give us some quick intros? Sure, hi, I'm Ryan, I'm the lead gameplay designer. Uh, I help define how our various gameplay functions should work. Hey, I'm Matt, I'm the animation director, and I'm responsible for how the characters move. Hey, I'm Lance, I'm the lead gameplay programmer, uh, and I guess I'm responsible for building things and making all that stuff work. All right, let's nerd out. I guess. <laughs> I guess. I guess. I guess. <laughs> So it's been 13 years, guys, since, since the last skate, and uh, I would love for you guys to let the people know what it means to you not only to work on the next version of skate, but uh, to make the gameplay. Yeah, I guess uh, like a lot of people, right, when the first game, skate game came out, uh, you know, I spent a lot of uh, my summer just skating with friends in the day and then playing skate all night. Uh, and uh, and they get inspired by something you do in the game, take it to a skate park the next day and kind of have that feedback loop going, right? So it really kind of defined a lot of, um, of uh, one of my favorite pastimes. Um, and being able to actually work on a skate game now is pretty much, it's a dream project, right? So uh, yeah, very excited to be here. Sick. Yeah, super excited too. I've been at EA a very long time. I used to be on a baseball game way back when. And we used to get beta builds of Skate uh, kind of before anybody else had played it. And I think I'd probably finished Skate 1 twice over by the time it was, was released. So never got to work on Skate, but you know, was working one Saturday trying to get another, another game done. Darren happened to be in the office, came over, said a mutual friend, said I should probably talk to you about animation on Skate. And uh, from there, it was employee working, number one. Employee number one, working on <laughs> skate. Got to work at 7 a.m. Worked under the table so nobody else could see what I was doing for a couple hours. Went back to my day job and did that for a couple months until we're here today. Thank you, Matt. Yeah, it's a similar story for me too. Like I remember being back in university and playing skate with my friends, and I was like in school for computer science, um, and so I was thinking how cool it would be to work on a game like Skate one day. So it's really like honestly a dream come true to be part of the project and, and working with you all. It's like it's awesome. Okay, guys, let's let's start from the beginning. What is the most important thing about gameplay? What is so important? Yeah, I mean, for me, I think some of the most important things I'm looking at are uh, that we're still playing like a skate game, right? We still got that DNA. And also that we're building in these new mechanics like wallies and slappies and bone dollies. All this stuff, right? That represent more of what modern skating is all about and that we haven't really seen in skateboarding games before. Yeah, I think my focus is more on making sure that players have an ever-expanding kind of toolbox, right? That they have a lot of interesting choices and they can do anything they can really think of uh, and be creative with this toy. And that when you're doing that, it feels good, right? It right. feels very satisfying when you're doing these things and discovering these new things. And it's the core of our game, right? Like it's the core of skate. Without skating, without the, our core skate mechanics, there is no game and mm -hmm. it's, it's fundamental. I mean, how do we, I mean, for the people, how do we go about prioritizing what we work on and what? Oh, uh, I mean, really, it's the hard things first, right? It's the things that are kind of more unknown, the things that are risky, things Skate has never done before. Uh, we want to really make sure that we have time allotted for figuring those things out and make sure we can get it right uh, before we go back and do kind of things that we already kind of know how to do, right? The solutions for those other things can come a bit later. Um, the risky stuff is what we want to do now. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, one of the things that we have too that's pretty cool that lets us do some of that risky stuff is how we build things. Uh, we, we build it in a way where while the game is running, we can turn those new features and changes on and off, right? So if we want to change, experiment with changing like how fast you move in grinds uh, when you transition from one to another, we can turn that setting on and off and try it out on the fly. And it's pretty cool because it lets us make those risky changes without like taking away any of the skate DNA, right? Like we can feel it if it's still good and feels good, right? So. <laughs> How do we balance, you know, the the stuff where like we have this broad spectrum of gameplay where you can go really big and be really grounded? How are we balancing what we work on in terms of like those types of gameplay features? 
Yeah, well, I mean, really want to do both. Um, we're always trying to push, like that's one of the strengths of skate is that you can go crazy or you can be really uh, technical, right? And you can do that all within the same world, same control scheme, same game. Uh, so we want to push both of those ends of the spectrum all the time. Um, and it really just depends on what mechanic uh, we're trying to prove out at the time. And it might fit into both, it might fit into one. Um, but really, we're always trying to make sure it can benefit everybody as much as possible. And the nice thing is they aren't always at odds with each other, right? Like, if I want to go super fast and launch off a mega ramp, um, that's kind of a different style of skating and occupies a different space in gameplay than, you know, like super techy, realistic lines. We really want, you know, realistic skating and we really want the over the top stuff. I mean, that, that is the DNA. Yeah. That is, uh, right? Yeah. Yeah. And we, when we capture it here, it's all real. It's all what the pro skaters do. It's like, just because we captured it here, doesn't mean you can't do a back tail off of a roof, get into the air, right. do a late flip. Turn it into something else that's bigger than what we see on the, sh on the shoot floor here. So we can still session a curb, right? Oh. For, for hours and jump off buildings and land into quarter pipes if we want to. We can yeah. slap you a curb. You can slap, can you. slap you a curb. <laughs> Speaking of slappies, um, can you walk us through the process of concept to actual feature in game, like what that process looks like? So from a design standpoint, at least, what we normally start with is we're trying to identify like a goal for this mechanic, right? Like what intention is it meeting? Is it solving a problem? Is it uh, gonna unlock a bunch of new possibilities in the game? Something like that, right? Um, for slappies specifically, one of the things that we identified was kind of tricky in the game is curbs. Curbs are everywhere uh, and you run into them a lot and you trip over them and it's not really a great experience if you're constantly timing these things and, and failing at it. For new players, um, for, for sure. new players, yeah. for sure, right? Like uh, it can be fun and that's still there. You can do that at any time. Um, but Slappies just turns that kind of moment of crashing into a curb and running out into a cool trick, right? Now, so you just slam your board into the into the curb and you get a Slappy and you can then use uh, you know, our actual grind system and do all kinds of different grinds in it and do a slappy nose blunt, yeah. whatever you want to do. From the animation side, we look at a lot of reference, a lot. We would look at videos, you know, how do you do a slappy 50-50? And then you watch another one that tells you to do a slappy 50-50 the wrong way. And then you watch another one and it's the first guy again <laughs> who'd redacted what he said and now does not <laughs> by bashing in the curves. And then from there, we end up looking at like, longer slappy vids. There's a McSlappies vid. Don't lift your front wheels. Don't lift your front wheels, but the McSlappies video had 20 minutes of just sessioning this one McDonald's curb. And <laughs> it's like, oh, you can do a slappy blunt. That's how they do it. This is what a slappy lip looks like. Right. And we just get a sense of what the variety is there, get it down on a piece of paper for a shot list, and then uh, call up some talent and come do it on the stage here for real. So from a design perspective, like from a creative perspective, I'm like, hey, that sounds sick, I want to do that. and then goes to you and you're like, okay, let's figure out what the right way to approach it is. Animation is like problem solving. Code seems like it's a whole black box that I don't understand was, was <laughs> Lance was uh, figuring out how to make slappies harder than learning 360 flips. Ooh, that's a pretty tough one. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I couldn't even say. I, I think maybe it's harder to do it in game to build these things. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it, it's pretty exciting though, too, right? Because we're looking at some of these features that, again, are like representing like what you see a lot in like modern skating videos, right? Like you just see it all the time where people are kind of bashing their board into stuff, right? We got slappies, we were working on wallies. That's something I was personally working on for quite a while. Um, it, and you know, it's something I was super stoked to come in and work on. Like, it was I, something that I never thought we'd be able to do. Like, wallies are insane. Well, yeah, me too. Some nights, for sure. But hey, um, you know, we got wallies some nights, in the daytime, game. Daytime, daytime, daytime. daytime. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, I'm just thinking. So yeah. Um, but yeah, honestly, like it was a pretty cool process where it's like, yeah, we want to take this trick that I think is super important to skating and that people are going to love, right? Also, of course, it like solves a design problem that we have, which is great. So, I mean, that's- like Keeping like, people from falling down like, or, or like exactly, new players right? from being frustrated. Yeah, it makes it so your skater kind of handles their environment and is a bit more aware of like what you're skating over, like a real skater would, right? Like they wouldn't just like bash into something if they could do a wally on it, so. Um, you know, that first of all is like the first step, gets me super excited to work on it. And I think that's actually a pretty key part is like having that like strong vision and like buy-in for what we're building. So I guess that got me kind of excited to go and like see what we have right now, what's in the game, how is it working? How are we gonna take that from like, 
you know, your deck hitting the ledge of something and wiping out or slamming um, and turn that into, okay, now you're gonna like pop your deck up and over it with your legs smoothly and like keep rolling, right? right so right. Um, first it's like kind of, you know, looking at breaking down what have we got. So right now when you do it, you slam. So where's the wipeout coming from, right? We have all these, uh, you know, physics calculations that are going on that throw these values back to us and we decide whether it's a wipeout or not. So it's like changing that logic and then making a decision to go into like a new Wally physics state. You're moving, you know, you keep your feet like traveling up and over the obstacle just like you would in real life. And actually it's kind of a complicated thing to do in real life. I haven't learned that one yet. So right, right. maybe that's the harder one really. Um, so I know that we approach slappies and wallies a little bit differently. Like slappies, we got mocap data for yeah. really, really early on. It just didn't work on the feature for a bit because we knew we wanted to do them. Wallies yeah. were like another thing that I don't think we really planned for, but we were able to like, you were able to work some magic and they're magically in game and we're going to get some mocap data. Wally will eventually capture for real, real, but you know, we just kept kit bashed pretty much our, our low, mid and high ollies to make them look like a wally. Just placed a jersey barrier in front of them or a box in, in what the tool that we animate and just get something that looks like a wally. And then, you know, there's three animations. It's not an expensive thing to do. It's a cheap way to fail to get them to go in there. Right. And then, you know, once the system settled down, we'll get them, <laughs> get them in here for real, right. for real. Well, the other cool thing with it too is like building out these, using these prototype animations was um, you know, I'd try them out in the game and kind of see how it's performing. And then I'd talk to one of our animators and say like, hey, could you tweak it in this little way so yeah. the deck kind of levels out in this way? And then also like getting wallies to work like front side and back side, right? Yeah. So doing little prototype animations for those kind of styles of wallies. Yeah. Um, it was really, really quick turnaround time, right? And it lets us like prove that concept out before we need to go and capture. So it, it is pretty neat that we can kind of tackle things both ways that way. Yeah. The thing that I love is that it, it like adds so much depth to the gameplay, right? Like for new players, it removes frustration. For expert players or, you know, really skilled players, it, it gives them another system to really like leverage and do creative expression with, with their skating. And Yeah, that, that's true. I mean, if you're doing slappies or wallies, like there's definitely like a sweet spot for getting a really nice one versus just like an accidental one, right? So it's cool there's that depth, like to get a really stylish, like nice edit from these new tricks, you can spend the time on it. And they layer into other systems, right? Like we, yeah. we've got leans now, right? So you can slappy and just roll onto the curb yeah. or um, pop, instead of popping off of a ledge or whatever, you can just like lean off of, right? Yeah, yeah we've you got can roll out and go, you can roll to the sidewalk and you roll back to the road. Um, you can pop the other direction, you can transition to another trick and then do that. Power slide into the slappy. Lean out. Well, can you? I didn't know yeah. you could do that. <laughs> Sick. Yeah, what, what about like a blunt? Could you like roll out of a blunt? You can roll a bunch. Okay. <laughs> yeah, man. With Wally's, as an example, obviously we're not there yet. Uh, I mean, what is the process of how they look right now, which is a little funky, but they feel great, to getting them like fully fleshed out and, and tested, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I think we're literally not there yet because sometimes like you go to pop a Wally and your wheels just don't hit the wall and you kind of whiff over it. So, you know, there's a few things we got to improve for sure. Um, you know, some other areas I'd like to see it is like if you're doing a front side or backside Wally, a little bit nicer of a wall ride maybe instead of getting like shot 10 feet up in the air <laughs> when the bug happens. So yeah, there's a little more we could do, but the cool thing is uh, we kind of build this like functional representative version of of it, right? We tested it out ourselves within the dev team, and then we've got um, you know community playtests that you know everyone is giving us this awesome feedback and you know testing it out for us and helping to guide us, right? So I think that's a big next step um, is gathering that feedback and then figuring out where those opportunities are to make it better. Just talk about how powerful that is, right? Like in game development, having that amount of feedback as we're developing the game while we're doing it to really hone in before we're like we're live live as a as a, a fully fleshed out product is is pretty insane, right? Have you guys ever had any any experience like that developing a game before? Yeah, uh, this is a pretty unique uh, process, I think, right? Like, um, it's great because early on in this iteration loop we were talking about before, like we're still trying to prove out even just like basic controls for these mechanics, like what's going to work well. Um, like, should it require really highly precise timed input, or should it be more automated and contextual based right. and physics influenced, or how should this work? Um, and having eyes on this so early from everybody, especially a large amount of players, interacting with it in ways we didn't really think they're gonna do, or at least we weren't thinking about yet, um, we get tons of feedback on, hey, it works great here, it doesn't work in these other five ways. And then that we can start to prioritize that, 
get that in there. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's super exciting for me, just like how transparent um, and kind of vulnerable actually we're being with our players, right? Like that and we're they're sharing. passionate. Yeah, and they're passionate, right? So, but I mean, I think it helps that they're passionate because like they want to be along for the ride, right? Um, and like, like I want, yeah, exactly. And like, I want to go along for the ride with, with everyone, right? Who's playing the game and kind of like build it together that way, get that feedback, like, you know, we would never have the chance to show this stuff that early and make sure it's what people want to see, you know? And um, yeah, it's just been a really awesome and pretty unique opportunity for me to have that, yeah. I mean, I mean like, look at this forum, we're talking yeah. about it right yeah. now and we're being transparent about like the way that we develop, which is brand new to me. I've never worked, I've worked in games for a really long time and this is completely new territory. So, I mean, I love it because I know how passionate our fan base is and how long they've been waiting for the game and so it makes a ton of sense and it's really exciting for us to be able to like open the door and show like hey we're working we're we are literally working on it and we're doing our best and like we're really really excited and passionate about like the stuff that we're building for you guys so so we just came out of creative week for the team which obviously as you guys know is a week for us to work on any type of feature we're excited about for the game. It doesn't have to be something that's planned or not planned. It could be something that we've, you know, dreamed about doing but didn't have the the bandwidth to do it. Um, what are you guys excited about right now? What, you, what are you working on? Yeah, um, so I was super excited about uh, working on this new feature in transition skating during Creative Week. Unfortunately, I can't quite talk about what it is because it's a little early, but uh, I am very excited to see that, you know, lately we've been putting a lot of effort into improving our transition skating overall. Um, so, you know, looking at kind of the momentum and flow finally. that the skater, yeah, yeah finally, <laughs> exactly right. So, um, you know, looking at the momentum and the flow that the skater has in transition, how much air you get, um, you know, how pumping works, all of that. Various things that we've been hearing from playtests a lot of the times from our players, um, you know, they haven't really been happy with how that's playing quite yet. And to be honest, like we know we needed to work on it. Um, so it's been awesome that we kind of have the time to do it right now. And we're really looking at making, you know, transition skating the best it can be. Um, right. Yeah, there's a lot of potential there. Ryan, I'm not going to ask you what you're excited about. What are you the most frustrated with right now? <laughs> uh, so many things. Um, yeah, I mean, there's always things to be improved, right? Like, there's always um, bugs and, and uh, tuning to do and everything. Like, I mean, earlier today, we were playing with um, uh, flip trick speed, right. all right? And you can, it's awesome that you can control your flip trick speed now, right? Um, by how fast you actually flick the stick. But, um, you know, I always want to do like slow flip tricks on everything and like especially like a th slow 360 flip down a stair set or something. But sometimes if you do it too slow, you don't even pop and right. it's a frustrating. Yeah, it's yeah. a bad experience, right? So that's, that's the kind of stuff I really want to fix. But at the same time, I'm excited about it because um, what I really like is being able to combine those things with our other new system. So um, our kind of extended suite of held flip tricks and late flip tricks and being able to do a slow, late laser flip or something is awesome and something yeah. you can do before, so, yeah. Yeah, and that's, from an animation perspective, I'm really looking forward to getting our held and late flip stuff looking good. Like, pre previous builds, it's been like a frozen pose of the skater. Right. With the board spinning, physics is taking control. It looks pretty bad, but we've been working on, you know, what, what is the animation? But they're fun. They're fun, so now that we know that they're fun, how do we take that, actually animate them to look, look properly? So, you know, we actually have nice held flips and we're playing around with like, you know, a held kick flip, pretty easy to envision what that looks like. What is a held 360 flip? So if you're held it in the board, does, you know, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a 720 rotation, or what about 1080 rotation under there, playing around with it. how good can we make that look and, right. you know, can you pop for that, or can you be in the air, and can you do a late flip version of that and play it around? Those are those are pretty interesting and uh, fun to play around with right now. Can you? <laughs> can you? <laughs> yeah, you can right okay. now, and the, yeah. you know they are looking yeah. a lot better. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we also have our you know our new city, our final city oh, yeah. that we're finally playing in, um, San Amsterdam, and players are finally getting a chance to see it. Obviously, it's exciting for me. I'm I'm like the most stoked about all the new spots. Yeah, and. Uh, probably wasting too much time mm -hmm. skating around and not actually testing what I'm supposed to test. <laughs> and, uh, That's a, yeah, a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. uh, one, one random question I was thinking about, um, what is the feature that you're most excited for players to touch for the first time, like when we go live? 
I mean, I think for new stuff, it's uh, grind transitions maybe. That's something I think just feels... Game changer. Yeah, it, it just feels a lot more natural than maybe what was in the games before. And, it's, uh, and it just opens you up to a lot more um, opportunities and creativity so easily. Right. Uh, but for things that existed before that are just a lot better is power slides. I, I really like the way our power slides feel. Yeah. Uh, it's really yeah, satisfying. Right. Matt. Uh, for me, probably the climbing, the ability to just get over a wall, climb up a wall, find a new space, uh, the increased verticality that, that adds to the level. Going back to the previous games after playing our game. It's, yeah, really, it's hard. really hard not yeah. being able to, hey, there's a wall. I want to get to the other side. Right, right. Uh, and then jumping at it like classic video video game style and going nowhere. I mean, it changes. I mean, it's largely a horizontal game. Yeah. It makes it now vertical, right? Yeah. You can climb up yeah. things and stuff. The whole city becomes yeah. vertical, right? Yeah. 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 Which it, yeah. Which is also a curse. Sometimes you're trying <laughs> sure. to be able to climb anywhere and make it look good. Yeah. It's a lot. Yeah, but it works pretty well, I've got to say. It's, yeah, it's pretty, it's good. pretty good. Um, For the most part. I guess I like walls, too, because I want to say, like, on a skateboard going over a wall, right? I'm really excited for us to get our wallies uh, in there and, you know, in players' hands. Uh, right. It's something that I just think... Um, it feels amazing when you really hit that sweet spot for it. And there's, uh, I know I talked about it a bit before with Wally's, but um, you know, there's a bit of depth there and gameplay around it, along with just like the easy traversal. So uh, yeah, pretty excited. I'm like, pushing has always been in the game, but I think our pushing is actually really sick compared to what it was before. It just feels really good. It looks really good. And then from a new, maybe not a new system, but it hasn't been fixed yet. I'm really looking forward to wall rides being Improved better. Me too. <laughs> yeah, same. Because that's one yeah. that's always same. been really tough for us. So yeah. yeah. Oh, and and we have a mocap shoot coming up. Yeah, we have mocap shoot coming up uh, in a little while. Uh, getting some new skaters in for this. Be trying to get a bunch of style, different style versions of stuff that we already have in the game. So it'll be really fun to play around with that stuff and see where it goes. Speaking of which, we should probably go check on Cuz to see if he's got his suit on, new styles and stuff. Yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's wrap it. Thank you guys for your time and for uh, shedding some light for the players out there about how we work and the process of bringing, you know, gameplay to light. Thank you guys for letting us nerd out and talk about gameplay and the stuff that we're really passionate about. So. Uh, see you next time and thanks. All right, what's next on the shot list? Carbs? Crazy carbs? Ollie Nowheres. <laughs>